if you clicked on this video, you probably already know the score, right? You already know the situation. You bought a Razer Blade 15. Uh, if you're, in my case, you bought it off of eBay for a basically half price, and uh, what a sweet deal. It came, it's pretty, uh, keyboard glows, and you clap your hands like a little uh, ape man, and you're like, hoo, 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 hoo. It's, a, it's a good computer, I love it, it glows. Because I'm a moth person, and I, I love when the fucking computer glows. So, uh, basically, you have this problem, right, where you set your system settings to maximum, you set your power settings to maximum, you're cranking this thing out, like, thinking, ah, I'm gonna take my laptop to the park and play VR in public like a psychopath. Um, just a teensy little problem, though. Every time I do anything on my computer, including nothing at all, if I'm just sitting on my desktop, my computer is screaming at me like I threw a hot dog in the microwave. Well, there's good news for you, buddy. I actually figured out how to fix it. Apparently, this uh, phenomenon is called coil whine, and it happens when either your CPU or GPU, depending on where it's affecting, is running just a little too high, just a little too hot, so... We're gonna fix this today. What you're gonna wanna do, right, is go to your power and sleep settings. This is where you'll find your power and sleep settings, if you can believe it, and go to additional power settings. Once you're there, right, you're gonna see high performance. That's probably what you're on if you're experiencing this. Go to change settings, ignore basically everything here, and change advanced power settings. It's gonna bring up a daunting little window that's gonna remind you of a little something called Windows 7, but don't worry, your computer's battery is running low. If you go down to the part that says Processor Power Management and click on that Microscopic Plus button, you can go to Minimum Processor, bleh, minimum processor State from that, and then go to Maximum Processor State as well. Uh, from my experience, changing the minimum didn't affect it at all, but literally changing the uh, processor power from 100 down to 98 got rid of this for me. I never experienced coil wine after this for, I want to say I've been using it maybe few days, maybe a week. Yeah, look at that. What do you know? It's gone. You can't hear it because I'm dubbing over this audio. This was taken on my laptop, but I'm recording on my desktop, so I fooled you. If you go to the start button, right, go to settings, system, not accounts, not phone, not network, go to system, boy. okay. Uh, you're going to want to go to power and sleep, Bam, you're at the same place you were if you just searched up Power and Sleep. So, there's two ways to get to that area. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really do. If you were struggling with coil wine, and you were crying in bed late at night, thinking, you know, I've gotta stop this coil wine. I've gotta stop it. I, it can't sound like I'm baking a potato every time I'm using my computer. Well, buddy, I hope this tutorial helped you. And, you know what? If 98% doesn't do it for you, try 97 Fuck it, try 96. I, I I don't care. Just, this is what fixed the problem for me. And uh, you know what? I hope it fixes it for you too. I hope you have a blessed day. Uh, and I hope you wake up from a sweet dream this night. And uh, you find yourself rested and uh, refreshed for the next day tomorrow. Is that too much? I'm sorry, that's probably too much for a tutorial. You you, you don't, probably don't even... I, you, it's like, you wouldn't care if I was email, right? Whatever. Whatever. Alright, have a good day. Good night. Fuck.